In this new episode of the IoT Show, we have Hector from the IoT Central team will tell us everything about what are the latest features in IoT Central and what is announced today at Build. Hi everyone, this is the IoT Show. I'm Olivier, your host, and today we're talking Azure IoT Central with Hector. Hector, thanks for joining the show today. My pleasure, Olivier. Hi, everyone. So Hector, what are you doing in the IoT Central team? Um, so I'm a principal PM in the Azure IoT Central team. And basically what my team does is we want to make sure we do all the features that have to do with making sure Central integrates with the other system and also providing the extensibility and personalization capabilities to make the Central apps your own. So, Actor, Azure IoT Central has been available for uh, something like a year now, right? Yeah. Um, so it's it's something that helps our customers, you know, build their IoT application. Yep. Uh, it's it's what we call our um, solutions platform for IoT applications. Sure. Yep. Um, the big advantage of having a solutions platform is that we, Microsoft, can release features that customers can instantly benefit from Absolutely. in their existing yeah. apps and yep. future apps, right? Yep. So yep. we're we are permanently actually uploading stuff. So Absolutely. And, and can you tell us a bit about the latest features yep. that have been added to IT yep. Central? Yeah, I think to your point, so oh, over the last year, we've been having like thousands of developers building apps in IoT Central. It's been an awesome journey. And over the last few months, we've learned a lot. We listen to the customers all the time. And um, here at Build, we're presenting a bunch of like the new features that we've been adding recently to Central. And yep. we're adding a really like cool functionality. For example, we're investing a lot in doing custom rules in action. So you can have experiences not only between Central, but also with some of the elements of our Power Apps platform, like yep. Microsoft Flow, Power Apps, um, Power BI, okay. etc. We're also adding a lot of like you know um, visualization and the ability to have multiple dashboards depending mm -hmm. on the persona that you have, etc. Okay. Um, we're also doing a lot of connectors, right? Like in, when you talk about IoT, it's really really important that IoT data actually goes to meet where the business data is. Yeah. So um, do we have a lot of like continuous data export that you can mm -hmm. send data directly to your blob storage or through Event yeah. Hub as a service bus? Um, so that's really cool. And finally, we're also been investing a lot in like the custom branding and personalization, right? Like a lot of our customers have told us, um, I really want to feel like when I'm, my operators use Central, they want to use a look and feel, they want their support links, they want their yeah. brand, they want the logo. So um, that's what we've been up to. Yeah, that sounds very much like IT Central is, is actually ramping up super fast in, in, in the business, right? Yeah. Customers are getting to production, yeah. so we need all these features. Uh, can you show us some of them? Like I know that there's a very great now integration with Microsoft Flow for example. Yeah, I would love to. Let's so jump into that. Why don't they start it? So I put together this like very simple demo. It took me like about like five minutes to build this custom yeah. dashboard that we five see Five minutes here. for Hector means like four minutes for you guys? Yeah, or like <laughs> three and a half. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, so when you go and see, for example, the device templates here, I have my Benden machines, right? So I could go ahead and add a new rule that would that would do something um, with the device data that is coming. So okay. you can see all the different measurements that we have: the accelerometer, gyroscopo, um, humidity, etc. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the rule side. In the rule side, I can just create a, for example, a new rule. Okay. And I'm going to say, hey, based on the telemetry that's coming, mm -hmm. and I'm going to call my, oops, I'm going to call it my new rule. And here I'm able to add all these new conditions. In this case, I'm just going to choose, for example, the temperature. Okay. I don't need any aggregation at this point, but if I wanted, I'd be able to use aggregation over time. Uh -huh. And I'm going to say, hey, when my temperature is greater than, let's say, 75 Fahrenheit, okay. and save it. And then a lot of actions pop up. So. Up to now, we had basic actions like um, ability to send email or webhook yep. or Azure Functions. But very recently, we've introduced uh, Azure Logic Apps integration, yep. which is really, really a powerful pass um, levels component in Azure. Yep. But we also have Microsoft Flow. Yep. And what we've done is we partnered closer with the Microsoft Flow team mm -hmm. to actually create an embedded experience within Central. So you don't need to get out of the IT Central application experience no to work on your exactly. flow. You okay. can actually work on your flow. You can create your flows over there. You can define the tiers. And as you can see, we also have created a bunch of um, uh, templates just for central. Okay. So for example, in this particular one, I could just say, hey, run a custom action, or create a connected field service alert, or uh -huh. I can push a notification. Or for example, if I pick like post a message to your teams, 
I would be able to go immediately um, create a rule from Teams. Yep. So you can see Boosted how forward. I'm authenticated, mm -hmm. and then I click on continue. The system has detected the, um, the application and the rules I can have, and as well, um, our flow is able to detect my configuration of Teams, so yep. I will be able to choose um, my, my team, so I want to send it to my fellow PMs, I want to send okay. a bunch of notifications, so they, they're going to they, love you. They, they're going to love, love me. <laughs> exactly. And I'm going to choose the demo channel, and I will be able to pick the message, right? So if I save this, um, I can save it, and then my, my rule will be ready to go. And as you can see, it's taking me, again, like very, very short yeah. time, and a really powerful integration between both um, um, uh, IoT Central mm -hmm. and Microsoft Flow. Yeah. And I noticed in the way, actually, when you were going through the, the process of creating the rule, that we have way more options yeah. in the drop downs yeah. for you know, selecting you know, the type of telemetry, but also oh, the aggregation of the data and so on. Yeah. Uh, can you bring up the, the conditions again, real quick? Sure, absolutely. So that way we can actually dive a bit deeper into that and explain a few of the things that are up there because I think it's really interesting. So in the measurements here you have tons of things and properties yep. that, that you, you didn't have in the, in the beginning, right? Right now, basically you can trigger an alert based on the change of a device property, right? So that's really yeah. cool because a lot of our folks have been telling us, I don't necessarily want to do an action mm -hmm. based on what's happened to the device they're sending, but actually yeah. has a device changed. It's something that the operator should care about in the property yeah. of the device. So now we're actually making it really, really easy. Yeah. And as you can see, we're exposing all the properties the device model has. So like nice. um, builders can actually go and do it. Yeah, and then when you put the threshold in, actually, there's something interesting that that happened. Is actually same thing. We had uh, we had actually that that pop that was actually proposing, uh, you know, various options. You put a threshold of 75, but then in the drop down you had other options in the threshold, or about actually, you know. Uh, Temperature alert threshold and, and things like that. Absolutely. So like right now we've actually configured this pre-canned threshold. So like okay. operators don't really have to think about what measurement do I want and et cetera. And they're just gonna go ahead and just click it immediately. Awesome. So interesting that like the IT central platform becomes more and more sophisticated, but for the final user, it's super yeah. seamless, intuitive. The, the really the the way we're thinking about central is like think about it as an IoT app platform, right? Like you can yeah. actually start from something mm -hmm. and then continue adding more and more functionality. You can now connect yeah. it the 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 platform world with the platform as a service components in Azure. Yeah. You can continue to use Microsoft Flow and yeah. other components. So we're really seeing a lot of traction, a lot of excitement from folks, and it's really Love good it. to be here discussing all this with these developers. Love it. Uh, I think we'll deep dive into more of these topics, right? I think there's a a few more announcements that we're doing here around yep. IT Central new features. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So can you tell us a bit about what are these new features are added yep. uh, today at Build? Yeah, so first of all, really, really important, we're announcing the integration between IoT Plug and Play and, mm. and Azure IT Central. Okay. So for those of you who are not familiar, IoT Plug and Play is the new way to make devices um, connected to Azure IoT yeah. way easier, right? Mm -hmm. um, we're doing a lot of great work with OEM and ODM yeah. partners, so they had adopted and like we think it's going to be a significant breakthrough in the way people think about building their device applications and yep. connecting it to the cloud. Yep. So, so we have a, an episode of the IT show actually oh, uh, awesome. published at the same time That's great. Uh, as this one that you guys can go check it out just yeah. after. So basically by having IoT plug and play mm -hmm. connected into central that means that in, in a matter of like less than five minutes, you're able to connect your device, start sending telemetry, mm -hmm. the system will be able to recognize the properties, yeah. the command, what everything's ready. So the operator just has to familiarize themselves with the yeah. device and get ready to act on it. Awesome. Um, anything else noticeable? Yeah, we're also in, um, we're, we're also releasing the ability to do like um, um, custom branding, okay. like as we were discussing a little bit before. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy to tell you how yeah. it looked like. Well, let me let, let, let us see the personalization of your yeah. IT Central application. Yeah. yeah, I agree with you. Like, if all IT Central apps look the same, it's not easy to actually sell that to your customers you Absolutely. Know, as an app. Yeah. And this is only the beginning, right? Like, we yeah. plan to continue investing in personalization, not only yeah. through out of the box UI, but mm -hmm. also in the future, we plan to uh, add the right extensibility okay. so you can build your own mobile apps and things like that. Um, but for now, I would love to show you this. So right now, oh, I don't want to make any changes. So right now, this is the, the app. And as you can see, all yeah. the apps have this like gray-based um, kind of like banner that is Microsoft style. Yeah. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is have an administrator. I'm just going to go here and I'm going to change um, the, I'm going to click on customize your application. Okay. And I can just select an image. Okay. 
I can put the controls, I'm going to put the controls logo, okay? And I'm going to select another image for the Fabicon just for the sake of it. Yep, because oh, it's the IT Central default one. Yeah, right exactly. Now. Okay. And then I'm going to get to pick my color okay. um, for this, and I believe this one's my favorite blue. Okay. So I'm going to match it with blue. Okay. And I just click on save. And what's happening is all of a sudden your application looks your corporate color brands on as top. well as your yeah. accent colors. So that makes it like really, really attractive, you know, for a lot of like corporate companies yeah. and things like that. And, and recognizable. Yeah. Like you actually put your brand in there and oh. it's way more recognizable. Let me right something yeah. let me actually show you something really cool. Um, if you go back here, you can actually also customize your help. So like uh -huh. out of the box, like this this little help toggle here that we have on yeah. the top right, okay. they bring like the out of the box Microsoft help, right? But mm -hmm. what if an operator uh, wants to use their own support that supports their own one? Exactly. Yeah, okay. Right. So you'll be able to like just maybe get started. You want to go to like you know uh, Contoso, right? Yeah. So you can just. If or the able. IoT show. Or the you IoT show. <laughs> now you need help with the IoT show, you can just do it. So look, you can just like remove the many links you want. For example, yeah, I'm yeah. just gonna, for example, example, I'm just gonna remove these links because they okay. talk about central. Yeah. And I'm just gonna just keep, keep the this one. Total one. Okay. So if I save them instantly, I just see this one support. Awesome. And we've been yeah. seeing consistent feedback that for operators, mm -hmm. this is something really important, yeah. right? Because they need to know exactly where to yeah, go. Yeah. So in the same vein, so personalization actually, and as you were saying, this is just the beginning. So yep. right now we're actually putting some level of branding with color and logos, yep. but this is going to be way more coming soon. Absolutely. There's another feature in terms of uh, like personalization, which is interesting, is the multiple dashboards yeah. actually as well, right? Yeah, which absolutely. has been published re very recently. Yeah, but absolutely. So like if I click, for example, on my dashboard, yeah. this is the one I have for my refrigerator tree, but I will mm -hmm. be able to create just a brand new dashboard here. Yep. I can just start from scratch and you know, like I'm just not gonna do it because it takes a while, but like yep. I will be able to save a new one and then I'll be able to toggle back and forth between the different dashboards. Cool. Yeah. Hector, this is a nice sneak peek into yeah. you know new features and, and more coming. You'll be back and we'll have more of the IoT Central team back on the IoT show for the deep dive episode It's coming a couple weeks from now. Yep. Uh, there's gonna be with Pamela, don't forget, we're gonna add a link in there to subscribe for that deep dive because yeah. we're gonna actually go see what it really means to go customize, leverage all these integration points of IoT Central to create your IoT applications. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Awesome, Hector, thanks for coming to the show. Thank Hope you for having me, again. Olivier. Okay, and guys, don't forget to subscribe, thanks for watching again, see you soon. Cheers, bye.